What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we're gonna to be looking at another device that I just got in. This is it. It's called Sidetrack. It's gonna give you an extra monitor when you're using your device, just like that. So let's talk more about this. So when you open the box, you get the actual device itself. The sidetrack screen sports a 12 inch display. You get some instructions of how to apply it. You get an instruction on how to actually download the software. You get more random paperwork that most people just put back in the box and you get your USB to USB type C cable. Now this comes with USB to USB adapter as well as USB to USB A. You actually get some backup metallic stickers or metal pieces with 3M stickies on the back, just in case you have to relocate this screen. That's pretty much it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you actually get any of this set up is you want to first go and download the software. So there's software that's actually available for the Windows model uh, PC, also with the Mac as well as Chromebook. So you can download any of those that you would like, whichever one's gonna be best for you and your device. And once you get all that downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to pay specific uh, attention to your instructions. You're gonna have this piece of paper and it's gonna give you step-by-step step exactly what to do. So peel off your stickers on the back, center it on the back of the laptop, and then you're gonna press down on each one of those yellow boxes for about 30 seconds, just to ensure that you get maximum stickiness. You're never gonna press in that middle portion. So when you get the final setup ready, this is what you are going to get. You're gonna get your main screen over here and you're gonna get a side screen over here. Now I'm gonna fold this down just to show you, this is how I ran mine through the back, just like that. It's gonna slide off. Now, once you slide, let me show you, you slide one time, just like that, and it's gonna come out. Then you're gonna have another set of hinges right there that you can slide out and extend even further. I wouldn't do that. I would pull this back in, make sure that locks back in place, and then pull the screen out itself. So like I said, this is a 12 inch display. Now I wanna let you see this because I think it's noteworthy that you notice that once it comes all the way out, it's all the way out, right? It's a little, it's a little flimsy. You see? So once it comes all the way out, a little flimsy. So the it's supposed to be able to hinge in just like that and give you maximum screen or maximum viewing angle on that, but it's just not as secure up here in the top. Now, like I said, maybe I'm doing something wrong and not locking it in place, but no matter what I do, you still get that wobbly angle right there. Next thing, if you push it back in there a little bit, it works a little bit better, but you lose your hinging or your angle motion. So that's one of the big selling points is the ability to be able to fold it in and use it uh, at your convenience, but it's gonna be a little bit more unsteady when you do it that way. Now this product runs you about 200 bucks. So for the $200 price point, I would like for that to come all the way out and be nice and steady. And maybe they can work on the next model for this, but come all the way out nice and steady and then be able to go in with a hinging motion. Now, like I said, this is a new product that I'm trying out. I'm not sure if they're gonna do an update to this anytime soon, but that's just what I would like to see. And then when you're using your second screen, basically it's simple as take your mouse over, go down and you notice my dock popped up over here and anything that I need, now I can use it over here at my leisure. I wanna go to YouTube, I can go to YouTube. Once I'm there, everything should work with no problems. So there are no speakers over here, it's gonna just play and speakers are still over here. So let's say you come over here and then you wanna be a little productive you open up Chrome, you won't be able to open up Safari over here because Safari is playing over here. But let's say you open up Chrome and you go to another, open up YouTube again, and you can basically multitask and do whatever you need to do uh, right here. So productivity, entertainment, everything you need right at the touch of your hands, just slide the screen out and you're good to go. 
So it's a nice concept. They're just a, a small amount of flaws. I'm gonna run that cable around the back just so it's not cluttering out up front. They actually have a case for this because this piece is detachable. So let me show you how that works. You slide everything back in and then it magnetically attaches and lifts off and you can take this wherever you go. So I have this on the back of a case, not directly on the back of my MacBook Pro 16 inch. And I recommend a computer that's at least 15 to 16 inches just because this thing itself is probably around 13 inches on its own and it'll just stick out on a 13 inch or less computer. But it's, it's the hinging mechanism is one of my concerns. The wobbliness of it, if you can see that, it's just a little wobbly and hangs down. Now, if you take it, like I said, push it in just a little bit and you get the steadiness now and you can get that second screen out there and you can be more productive. Any further out, coming all the way out, it's gonna hang, it's gonna get wobbly, but you can bend it in, but you do get, it does get wobbly, just to let you guys know. So I'll keep it in right there. I'll straighten it out and there we go. It is a little heavy on the back as well. So if your Mac is not standing straight up, if it leans a little bit further back, it's gonna hold it down and pull it back. So you gotta make sure that that computer is standing up. And I'm not sure with time, that may put some strain on your Mac on the hinges and you may have some issues. So I'm gonna let you guys decide on this one. I'm gonna be testing this. I'm not sure if it's gonna put too much strain on the back of my computer. Um, and I'm not sure it's gonna be worth it, but I will be testing. I'll come back in just maybe another video just to let you guys know how it's going using this, but hopefully it can make me more productive. I'll be able to do simultaneous things. And this is basically aimed at the business professional. So if you got a business and you're doing work all the time on the go, it'll be great to have two screens, one for media, one for um, whatever you wanna do. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'll be sure and drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. This is Sidetracks. It's gonna give you more productivity while you're using your computer. You can have videos, games, whatever you want going on, and you can do productivity, entertainment, no matter what. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.